hijacking planes and against endangering the lives of civilians who were not connected to the struggle here in this region. We have been receiving reports in the last 10 minutes or so of celebrations taking place in Palestinian refugee camps in Lebanon and also of uh, impromptu celebrations taking place on the West Bank. And uh, we've got uh, the eyewitness view of a man who was in B Tower of what was then the World Trade Center. I was in B Tower. B -tower? A, 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 a Tower. What floor were you on? Uh, B1. What floor? The first one. What happened? Tell me. When I, a big explosion happened. Some guy came out. His, his skin was all off. I helped him out. This is him all over. There's people jumping out of windows. I've seen at least 14 people jumping out of windows. It's, it's, it's horrific. I can't believe this is happening. Uh, anything else that you saw? Were you there for the second uh, hit yeah. by the plane? After, about 10 minutes later, the second building went off. Did you see it? Yes, I saw it. It just blew up. A big explosion. People started running. It was just chaos everywhere. People jumping out. People just kept jumping and jumping and jumping. And you could still see they were alive because they were flailing around. The FBI has already stepped in to investigate. It could be possibly uh, a terrorist strike. It could be. It could be because it was the first one went off, and then 10 back minutes up, later, this up. just blew up out of nowhere. Hard to think that that would just be accidental. No, I don't think it would be accidental. Rusty and divided steel, the race is yet to come.